a good morning, YouTube! Or good afternoon, whatever it is. Happy day. Good day. Uh, I've been going through a lot of my old builds, and I have been uh, shoring up their numbers and making sure everything is as efficient as it can be, and it's been a lot of fun. And so I've just decided to make like an entire little series dedicated to that. Uh, showing off all the cool invasions and the builds and what I changed or did not change. Look at this delicious burrito. That's change. That's change you can believe in at Chipotle. The new chicken al pastor. Uh, only for a limited time in the quesadilla. I don't know. I think you can get it however you like. It doesn't have to be a quesadilla, but that's how I would get it. Anyway, um, a thing happened. Uh, they did a patch, 1.09, and so as a result, all of this footage that you're seeing is from 1.08, so some of the numbers at the end will be a little bit different than they actually were uh, in the invasion. So, uh, for example, uh, this, you know, lightning-infused Wakazashi or the lightning-infused Naginata might actually be better, um, because they improved the scaling on uh, those elemental infusions. But um, this is the loadout. At the end of the video, I'll show you the loadout and the equipment and the stats and all that. And that's what I was using during this, but some of those numbers might have changed. So it's Honest Rivers. That's right. We're returning to Honest Rivers. Uh, I made this build because everyone was complaining about uh, Rivers of Blood. And um, I was like, yeah, we hate Rivers of Blood. Here's my honest build. It's, look at this. <laughs> I put, I put uh, Blood Flame Blade on a Nagakibo with Double Slash. Is, it, is that so much more honest? That's so much more honest than uh, the Rivers of Blood. And I absolutely love this build. This was the inspiration for the Family Covenant. Uh, Blood Flame, Talon, True Combos, into double slash uh, and even if you get hit and you make a trade um, most of the time you will come out of the trade with a uh, frame advantage meaning you can act before they can act and uh, there's a beautiful example of that in this very invasion it's almost like I talked about it as it was happening to line it up so that you could see what I meant look at that yeah we love that People often ask me, like, uh, when I made the Family Covenant, they were like, how do you hit Blood Flame Blade? And the answer is, I'm sorry, Blood Flame Talent. And the answer is, you just do it. You just try. Just try to hit it, and you'll hit it. All the music in this video is, uh, is from the Katana Zero soundtrack, which you should you should play that game. It rules. It's great. And it's a little indie game, so it's never very expensive. Sometimes it goes on sale. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's on sale or not. It's a great game with a beautiful soundtrack and beautiful art worth owning but uh, yeah so in one of the other videos I made in this series for the Beast Paladin I talked about how I added the uh, source seal to the build the Radigan source seal and I said it was fine at level 80 which was surprising to me but I tried it on one of my other builds and uh, it was much more noticeable, that extra damage I took. Yeah, well, I'm an idiot. I think I got that mixed up. This is the other build that I put Radigan Sword Seal on. Uh, it was this one and the Beast Paladin. And they are very close to being at the same level. They're at level 70-something. And in that video, I was like, I said that I put, you know, the Sword Seal on another build and that I noticed it more. I think I, that I was wrong. I think... That was, I think the Beast Paladin actually takes more damage than this build, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, I, I put the Source Seal on this build to, you know, make it a little more efficient, and this was the build that I tried it on first, and it, I, I was like, yeah, this is fine. This is not a big deal. And going back and watching this footage and seeing these invasions, I was like, yeah, my, my absorption sucks, but like, it's not that much more noticeable. It was very noticeable on the other build. I remembered that. Well, that was the Beast Paladin. That's the one I noticed it on. This one is fine. Awesome invasion right here uh, in Castle Soul. It's, 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 uh, 
you know, typically, if you invade Castle Soul at level 60, 70, 80, it sucks. Because the people are just trying to get through Castle Soul as fast as possible so they can get to the Halic Tree, so they can get whatever they need from the Halic Tree. Maybe America's Sword Seal, or, uh, you know, whatever else you might want from there. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. There's a bunch of uh, ancient smithing stones. Maybe that's what they're after. But, uh, yeah. This, uh, that, that last Castle Soul invasion was a bunch of people that I knew, so that ended up being pretty great. Um, really fun. This one, uh, on the other hand, just, isn't it always so strange when you meet, like, my, my little brother does this. Uh, he, he and his friends will, like, come, well, not anymore, but when the game first came out, they would gank in the lake, and they, none of them knew what they were doing. They were all absolutely clueless. They just, you know, they called it reverse invading. And they would just hang out in the lake and, and, uh, and gank invaders. And, um, that was, that was, uh, a, a nice little insight into your average player's, um, approach to, to PvP, right? Like, these guys have no idea what they're doing at all. That wizard is like fat rolling, and um, yeah. And this, I, my little brother showed me his his, his character. <laughs> I'm not gonna call it a build. <laughs> he showed me his character, and uh, he he's you know they played Elden Ring for a while when it came out, and then when the arena came out, uh, him and his friends got back on and they went and did some arena fights. And uh, he asked me to look at his 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 character and see if the stats were good. They were not. <laughs> they were bad. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of your average, you know, players. Like, that's the people who's, who are playing the game. I talk about this a lot. I'll be like, yeah, like, you know, uh, a lot of times when you do invasions, you know, people will say, oh, I wish I could invade the same people you do. Or, you know, where, where do you find these people? Uh... You know, oh, you you only killed those bad players. Yeah, that's who's playing the game. That's if, and I promise you, they're they're the same people you're invading as well. Like, I get the mean players also. You know, I also get those invasions. A lot of times they're really boring, so they, you know, I don't put them in YouTube videos. Uh, it, regardless of whether I win or lose, it's just not worth looking at. You know, it's just nothing cool happens. It's just a bunch of generic ass spacing. Uh, and footsies that go nowhere for no reason, like we're playing a game where any of that is gonna matter. <laughs> but against these just regular Joes, I have a lot of fun. Silly stuff happens. It's great. We love it. But yeah, uh, you know, that's the thing I wanted to say is like, these players will kill you. If you make a single mistake, these players will, will, will absolutely light you up because it's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard to be a ganker. We all know this. I don't know why I still, to this day, get comments from people who don't understand these things. It's been, and, and it's like, if you're new to the community, you know, if, you, if you're not a uh, From Software acolyte, you, you know, I can understand maybe not knowing this stuff, but for the rest of you, like, there's no excuse. If, if you've played any other Souls game at this point, this should all be common knowledge. But apparently it's not. I don't know. Anyway, he's a fat rolling wizard. What is he doing? You know, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna make the most out of it, and we're gonna get a cool clip because we know this guy's gonna let us. Now, see if I was a real pro, what I would do is just clip right there, and then like slow motion all this, and I would have cut out the rest of the invasion. So you know what I mean? It would have just been like the burrito, the blue dying, and then that. That would have been. The rest of the image. Anyway, if I was a real pro, I would have just made it like a, a highlight reel. Uh, here's the build. Here's the equipment, as well as the stats and everything. Uh, weapons are at plus 15, uh, which is like plus 6, I think. Uh, we do have the, the Radigan Source Seal. Um, it's important to remember that Lord of Blood's Exaltation got, got nerfed. So that was not the case for this video. This was 
this right here was recorded after the patch, okay? But all the invasion footage was before the patch. Does that make sense? So these numbers, you know, attack rating and all that stuff are going to be a little different from what actually I had during all those invasions. Look at my absorptions, bro. I'm not never getting out of here alive. Damage negation. Look at it. It's garbage. <laughs> Thankfully, the levels from the Sore Seal in uh, Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dex gives me some flat defense to sort of balance that out. But uh, a pretty efficient stat spread. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Later, y'all.